Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, ordered today and it ships today. It looked like a crime scene at Roland Garros when police arrested Russian doubles player Yana Sitsikova during the opening week of play. They made the arrest as she was leaving a massage following her first round French Open doubles defeat. The 26-year-old is accused of sports corruption and organized gang fraud, according to French publication La Parisienne. Now, the arrest itself was pretty hectic, with some security attempting to block police. Police also searched Sitsikova's hotel room. So more now about the player in question. Yana Sitsikova is a doubles specialist. She is currently ranked number 101 in doubles on the WTA Tour. The Moscow-born player earned about $206,000 in career prize money, reached a career-high doubles ranking of number 89, and she's a key figure in an ongoing corruption investigation that dates back to October 2020. Last fall, French police launched an investigation into fraud in an organized group and active and passive corruption in a first-round women's doubles match at the 2020 French Open. Romanian duo Andrea Mitu and Patricia Maria Teague defeated the Russian and American she partnered with, Madison Brengel, in that match played back on September 30th. The corruption investigation centers on the fifth game of the second set of that match when Sitsikova lost her serve at Love. Betting firms reported an unusually high level of bets placed on Sitsikova to lose that game. Adding to the suspicion, Sitsikova double faulted on the first and last points of that game. So was the fix in. French media reports hundreds of thousands of euros were bet on Yana's opponents to break her serve and win that game. Now, to be clear, none of the other three women on the court in that match, neither the Romanians nor Madison Bringle, have been cited in this case. The investigation is focused on Sitsikova and a possible connection to an organized fix. The International Tennis Integrity Unit says it is aware of the case but does not have any comments on an ongoing investigation. Now, in an unrelated case, the agency announced that it has provisionally suspended three Belgian players, Romain Barbosa, Arthur de Grief, and Alex Wittmer. These three are the subject of an ongoing criminal investigation into corruption as well. One of the reasons tennis is such a popular betting sport is because of the opportunities that it offers bettors. Gamblers can bet on a single point, a game, a set, a match, even the outcome of a tournament even before it's played. That, of course, also makes the sport vulnerable to match, game, or point fixing. Several pros have said that they believe corruption occurs overwhelmingly at the challenger level because players there are often struggling to make a living and they're more vulnerable to criminal offers. So, our question, is it a big problem or is this rare? And as we see betting firms like DraftKings, Sponsor Tennis Channel, and other media, is tennis entering a gray area, profiting from ads bought by betting firms? Or is it no big deal? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.